one of the best contested plays in the game. So if you can get her up around stoppage, she's a, a really good ball winner. So Riddell with a quick kick back through the middle. All over the top with work to do. Gets dragged without it. Had the arms out. Shirley Heath a little too keen. In the middle of Icon Park. Goes wide. Wants Cravers. Not going to quite have the carry, although it's got over the back of the long arms of Lauren Pierce. Raven just paddling to herself. Good second effort by Pierce to put the smother on. And taps it back. Dangerous position. Garner lurking. She was brilliant last week against the Tigers. Goldrick work to do. Gavalis off the deck. Spills wide. This is going to be the first one. It's Rand at North Melbourne with the perfect start. West, Hanks, Mithen goes for the second option, which is Paxman. Doesn't hit the target, but she's got a couple of metres. Paxman bends it inside. Beautiful kick. Clever mark taken down low by Megan Fitzsimon. Chance to kick her fourth of the season and respond for the Ds. Really skillful player from 30 out. She guides it straight through, and it's a goal apiece in the preliminary final. So Lily Mithen had to wait a long time to kick the first goal of her career. She's only kicked three in 58 games. It was in that final against GWS. It was the game winner. Can she put them in front here? 20 out, slight angle. D's in front. Here's a chance for the Kangas to come through the middle of the ground. Beautiful tackle on O'Loughlin, taken down by Gay. Turnover comes. Heat handball behind Hank. She's got time to pick it up. So this would be how they started the first term with a quick cold goal to get things underway. Very relaxed approach by Emma King, but she's made no mistake. And we're all square in the prelim final. Tumbles it forward right. Pick through her fingers. And then just lets it slip out the back. Dangerous to Purcell. Inside 50 they go unopposed. Sheriff stands there and takes the chess mark. Which allowed Melbourne to transition. Sheriff hasn't kicked a goal this season. She has now and it's come at a great time for them. They take back the lead to lead by five. And with King down there too. Makes them hard to handle as Carney throws it inside 50 over the top of King. It's going to bounce through for a behind. Axman to Mackin. Melbourne so good on the counter punch. Well done. Great, Great work from Amy Smith. Carney will get it and go. She'll take no time. Just chips it inside 50. Harris can't get there, but does get it to ground for Mithen. High kick. Pierce in good position. Takes it on the chest. Critical moment here with nine and a half to play. Up steps Kate Hall. Advantage Dees. Bresnahan gets good distance on that kick. O'Loughlin looks to work Heath underneath it. She does. Just needs to keep the ball moving. She's gone. Shelley Heath, such a fine tackler. With three and a half minutes to play. Hangs in the air. It's a free kick for a block, and it's going Melbourne's way. It's going to go to Chaplin, who can pump it long from there. She is a thumping kick. She can get it almost all the way to the goal square. Yeah, it was just Mia King, I believe, who infringed. She just had her back to the footy. She had, a, had her eyes on it. It would have been absolutely no concerns with that. No hurry at all for Chaplin. She'll be happy to kick it to congestion. Does just that. Doesn't get all of it. Might still work here for Pierce at ground level. Shrugs Riddell on her right boot. Gets good traction on the football. And Melbourne are into another grand final. The Ds move a step closer to finishing their business. Melbourne into their second straight AFLW grand final. Now only the Brisbane Lions stand between the Ds and the ultimate prize.